if you want to know the best drama TV shows, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2021. I know you've been an amazing partner, but you know, you couldn't I like, couldn't, I couldn't no, be where you, you were. I could couldn't be not. in your place. You tried and... We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Are you feeling suicidal? What? Are you feeling suicidal? Are you contemplating killing yourself? Time is a crime drama television series created by Jimmy McGovern. When it comes to family, one has to decide between morality and love. In this gritty prison journey, we follow Mark Cobden, who is newly imprisoned for a crime that eats him up from the inside. Plagued by guilt, he meets Eric, a guard determined to protect anyone who is under his wing. But when the facility's most dangerous criminal finds out about his greatest weakness, it is his duty or family. This is your emergency call button. So called because you use it only in an emergency, right? Yeah. I knew Bob Warren. He was a good man. Number nine. So they pay more when they have more information. Could you calculate how many uses of Google Earth there have been? Yes. The Billion Dollar Code is a German drama miniseries created by Robert Talheim and Oliver Zeigenbalg. This war against the almighty Google is told in different timelines, which all circle around one issue, a legal dispute between internet giant Google and two German computer pioneers in order to be recognized as the inventor of the Google Earth algorithm. Throughout the show, we witnessed both the hacker scene in the 90s post-reunification Berlin, as well as the idealistic world of Silicon Valley, who clash in a multi-million dollar process. RGB plus Alpha Kanal, then have they at the end a special bus der macht das Ganze fast hundertmal schneller. Okay. Number eight. Good morning. You must be Drew's grandmother. Yes, Mayor. Nice to finally meet you. Mayor of Easttown is a crime drama miniseries created by Brad Inglesby. Winning over all fans of detective stories with subtle pacing and slow building suspense that reaches a purely climactic finale. Mayor of Easttown follows a burned out and broken mother and detective who's earned herself a reputation in failing at finding a kidnapped child. As a new children murder traumatizes the small town, this might be the last chance to solve a buried crime. We're concerned that these ticks, um, we don't know if it's a genes thing, you know, if it's passed down. My son was like this as a young boy. Number seven. Victim Oh. Young Royals is a teen drama television series created by Lisa Amberjorn, Lars Beckung, and Camilla Holter. Combining modern gender topics with coming of age and college trouble, Young Royals follows wealthy Prince Wilhelm, who, after a nationwide scandal, is sent to boarding school and must now cope with everyday life and other students. With his emerging sexuality and a crush on one of his male classmates, he manages the line between embracing and hiding his sexuality. Number six. Full time, great. Yes, but full time in a 40 hour week. Company policy is you can't work more than six hours a day. Made is a drama miniseries created by Molly Smith Metzler, bringing home a story of well-known but convincing tropes with real emotions and an approach that feels like it was grabbed directly from life. Made follows a young, struggling single mother. Having left her abusive boyfriend and moved into a shelter with her toddler, she navigates trauma, a dysfunctional family, work, a child, and her dreams of one day becoming a professional writer. It's a weekly three-hour clean over on Fisher Island. One shift. Oh, okay. So, uniforms, 25 bucks. Comes out of your first check. Number five. You'll be fine, miss. Do not. I would love that. It's a Sin is a drama miniseries created by Russell T. Davies. Shining a brighter spotlight on the complexity of homosexual relationships and their daily challenges, especially in the 80s, It's a Sin follows a group of gay men in 1981 London. With AIDS at its peak, their love and personal lives are impacted like never before. 
Circling around the group for half a decade, the story depicts how time and culture change their perception of relationships and desires. I could have done anything, but I never will now. I never will. You might. I'll never be anything. Number four. Success is kind of emblematic of a larger cultural misconception about marriage. <laughs> Scenes from a Marriage is a drama miniseries created by Haggai Levi. This brilliant approach to better understand modern marriage brings us the fresh idea of its title. Over the course of years, we explore tropes of love, including desire, fear, betrayal, marriage, and divorce, through the eyes of a contemporary American couple. Spanning over several years where we become first-hand witnesses of how time leaves marks, scars, and consequences to a relationship, the show re-examines what intimacy really means. What's your concept? I think, I think we both see marriage as a means. It's not an end. Number three. Are you Dexter Morgan? It's me, Harrison. Dexter New Blood is a crime drama mystery television series created by Clyde Phillips. Years after the conclusion of the world's most beloved serial killer series that left fans disappointed, Dexter finally returns for a finale that is worth having unknowingly waited for. A decade after faking his death, Dexter has taken on a new personality as a shop owner in a small town with the chief of police as his girlfriend. But when a series of incidents triggers his serial killer urges, he fears being discovered. This is way more firepower than anything you need hunting around here. Oh yeah, what do you hunt? Me, I don't anymore. I haven't killed any animals since I was a teenager. Number two. Questions? Yes. Last week, I had a doctor tell me he had two patients taking way more pills than he prescribed. Dope Sick is a drama miniseries created by Danny Strong. Leaving audiences in horrifying awe with its approach to telling a real and ugly story, Dope Sick shows how one company set loose the worst wave of drug use and addiction in the history of America. With a powerhouse cast and a truth to be spoken, Dope Sick explores how the epicenter of American culture struggles with opioid addiction and how money, power, and greed led to the health crisis of the century. Uh, Ma'am, people are living with unnecessary pain and they're being stigmatized when the solution is right in front of them. If people are suffering, they need a higher dose. Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. You don't have towers, you dumb alien. No, I, I know that it was a figure of speech. No, it wasn't. Oh my god, you actually thought we had towers. I did not. You're so stupid. I plan on taking a quarantine style staycation. A whole day, just myself. That'll show me. <sighs> Just like I thought. Both a couple of pussies like your old man. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Number one. Well, how do you know the French word for shit? It's the fucker gal from France. Well, then, that's all you had to say. 1883 is a Western drama television series created by Taylor Sheridan. This prequel to the fan-favorite Yellowstone TV series captures the untamed spirit of Western lands as the Dutton family embarks on a journey through the Great Plains to seek a better future in Montana. As they seek the last bastion in a wild country where laws and moral codes don't exist anymore or have never existed, danger lurks behind every tree and every mountain. You know what I'm doing here? Looking for a reason. You want to be my reason? No, I do not. Then sit the fuck down. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.